Now, the health secretary has refused to answer claims that he is planning to water down or even scrap the key NHS target of treating patients within four hours. Jeremy Hunt remained tight-lipped today as he was asked repeatedly by Sky News to clarify his position amidst further warnings of a deepening crisis in the health service. Our senior political correspondent, Beth Rigby, reports. Can the NHS meet its four-hour treatment target for A&E patients? Jeremy Hunt suggested yesterday it couldn't. You said that the four-hour waiting list is very important. Are you now saying that you're not scrapping four-hour waiting lists or watering it down? I mean, the public will want to know, Mr Hunt. Sorry, Beth, I've answered questions on this already. But you didn't answer a question. You said that it was over-interpreted in the House of Commons and that you don't want to water it down. Is that what you're saying? I think the public would like to know, wouldn't they? Because... And then, after performing a literal U-turn in front of our cameras, he refused to answer at all. Confused, the Department of Health cleared it up later, saying the four-hour waiting target did still stand. But the health secretary also says he needs the public to stop pitching up for non-emergency health care in A&E. The body that deals with acute care in the UK somewhat unimpressed with the health secretary's position. Of course it's not the public's fault. That's a, you know, an absolute case of despair on his part, is it not? Uh, patients go to A&E departments because they have little other choices where to go. They come to A&E because they go to the place where the lights are still on. They can't access their GP services, they can't access other services. Forget four hours, today's figures show a big spike in the number of patients waiting for 12 hours or more in A&E. Total figures have risen from over 87,000 in 2013 to over 185,000 last year. And the number of elderly patients waiting more than 12 hours has more than doubled in two years to over 88,000. We spoke to A&E doctors across the country today. Cuts to social care budgets and difficulties in getting appointments with GPs all add into their woes. The issues facing the NHS are throughout the year. It's not limited to just winter. Um, and I've been a doctor since 2009 and it's been gradually getting worse. Mr Hunt did at least today acknowledge there were some serious problems with A&E care. Some of the problems reported over Christmas, he admitted, were extremely distressing and worrying. Not answering much today, but the pressure back on tomorrow when Labour stages a day of debate in the Commons on the NHS. A four-hour target or not, Mr Hunt? Beth Rigby, Sky News.